I'm gonna do a little head massage here too, huh? I'm gonna get the water. Water, huh? Always ready, boy stop. Thank you. Hey! This right here is the spot where the American general surrendered. Just imagine a world if, if Hitler and the Japanese won. What kind of story, what kind of a museum would this be? It, it'd tell a very different story of Japan liberating the Philippines from the West and how wonderful life is, you know, here in the Philippines under Japanese rule. And so it's always important to keep those things in mind. You want a banana too? It's a banana break. <laughs> that is a very peculiar place to put a basketball hoop, I'd say. You had, you had nine basketball teams yeah. staying here? And was this, is this kind of just for decoration? No. No? Actually, those players warm up. <laughs> they play here, there's not much space. Not much, but they just play both. Okay, I guess you can, you can't even shoot here. There's a light right here. I don't know. I guess uh, you, you make do with whatever space you got, I guess. But welcome back to Balanga. Uh, today we're going to get out and explore the city. This is my first time to be out in Manila and be out in kind of like a, a rural town. So I want to go see what the vibe's like, go see what, uh, you know, see how people are living here. So it's a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood around here, that's for sure. I'm staying at the BTH Traveler's Home, if you're wondering. All right, so the first thing that I want to do today, though, is get a haircut. And I uh, just walked by this barber shop here, and uh, they're offering haircuts for only 100 pesos. Sounds good to me. Hello. Hello. Have a haircut. Hey, you are. Blogger. Blogger. Blogging. I think this is going to be very different from uh, my India <laughs> A lot different. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Bully. Bully. <laughs> Nick's getting a haircut by Nico. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do a little head massage here, too, huh? Nico can't be outdone by that Indian guy. <laughs> Nico. All right, Nico. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, the Yuzet Barber Shop here in Balanda. They'll get you all set up, and uh, very quickly too. That was only like, only took like maybe ten minutes tops. That's the way I like it. Okay, from here, we're gonna go check out the market. That glistening little area over there. Smell it from here too. Smoked fish or dried fish? All dried fish? Dried fish or smoked? Or... Okay. Just one. Mm, that's where that smell is coming from. Ah, they're like really, they're flat, huh? Uh, this, this one is beautiful, it's flat. Yeah, it is flat, yeah, uh, yeah. It's very smooth. And you just eat it like that? Yeah. Like a chip? Uh, before you eat, you will cook it. Oh, you uh, cook it first? Uh, first. Okay, okay. Then... Okay, gotcha. This is squid. Some dried squid. squid and, oh, squid. And the squid, oh, yeah. you cook it too first? Yeah, oh, dried and only, yeah. Interesting. Looks like it's almost ready to eat. Thank you. Okay, welcome home. What is this? Egg? Egg. Egg. What kind of egg? 15. Red egg. Red egg. A red egg. Can I touch? Yeah. If you want natural, you something If you want natural. Is it, is it boiled? Is it? Yeah. It's a, just That's a, boiled now. A boiled, why is it red? Ready to eat now. No, but why is it red? 
Because no, they put a color red in the, ano? In, in the, in the uh, water? Yes, but they know. Soy, then put a color red and they bound both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. You want to taste it? I'll try. I'll, uh, but you will pay 15 pesos. Yeah, of course. I'll pay 15 pesos. Oh, yeah, no. Are you German? I am American. Ah, American. There we go. Sometimes I get that. I'm not German. No. If you want this, I will, you will Okay, please. sure, I'll try it now. I'll try. Not oh. oh, this is masara. Masara. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do it now. Oh, you will not. That's red egg. That's what? Red egg. Yeah. Okay. It's, it smells delicious or no? It smells, uh, oh, 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 sorry. Does your mouth come it smells like an egg. <laughs> Can you hold it? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Like this lady? <laughs> Do I like this lady? She is, yeah, but oh, she is lovely. She's very lovely. Wow! Very lovely. Wow! Oh, yeah. This, Interesting. This, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, 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 delicious this, yeah. Oh, don't eat this? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Everything? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Yeah, delicious. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The white is so... But this... Delicious. Yeah. Oh. Yummy! Oh. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I don't know about yummy, but. Yum, yum. It's salted. Mm, yummy. Very salty. Oh, yeah. This, this is the red. Okay. Oh, this is delicious. Red. Okay. I need to wash that down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get the water. Water, huh? Always ready, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm single. I'm single. Oh, single too? <laughs> right. Single, single. Single and ready to single mingle. Single and ready to mingle. Yeah, single and ready to mingle. <laughs> what kind is this? Just chicken egg? Yeah. I know. Uh, no, no, chicken duck. Duck, chicken oh, duck. Duck. Oh, the duck. No, yeah. Peking duck. Oh, no, peking duck. Oh, no, my channel. Eat it. Got my protein. Good protein. Just uh, found the local pool hall, and uh, they've got a couple of really nice tables. Like it is legit. Oh, you're playing nine ball? No. Ten ball. Okay. I'll watch for now. <laughs> one more time. One more time. One more time. That's one thing I've actually really enjoyed here in the Philippines is seeing all the basketball related clothing and, uh, and wear, you know. You see it everywhere. Like that guy was wearing a pretty, uh, pretty sick old Dennis Rodman shirt. You know, you see jerseys from, I don't know, retro jerseys from the 90s and the 2000s and whenever, you know. And so, uh, hello. Uh, you know, I've seen just the most random jerseys, and it's kind of cool to see because I don't know if you guys have picked up on this or not, but I am uh, a little bit of a basketball fan. I've been playing basketball since I was like three years old, and so I uh, I enjoy it. Hello. A little shop in the little neighborhood here. Just, just walking through. Hi. Hello. Hello, guys. And so... This is like right on the other side of the, the market over there. Thought I'd stroll through a, a local neighborhood. Hello. Hi. What is that, man? I'm just walking and seeing your city, Balanga. Balanga? Yeah. yeah. Nice place. Nice place. Mm. These things right here. 
It's a nice uh, tricycle. Very nice tricycle. I'm just checking it out, man. I come in peace. I'm guessing this right here would be like the the sewage, maybe. Hello. Hey yo, what's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, another table over here. Snooker? What is this? Snooker? Cool. Cool. Okay. I've never seen pool, a pool table like this. Sure, it looks interesting. Can you can you record for me? So like, and the table rotates. Okay. And so, which one, red or green? Up to me. So you can move the table. How convenient is that? You can move the table. Oh, okay. One floor, one floor. But you don't have to move around the table. You can just kind of. Ah, let me get one. Let me get one. Hey, yeah. there it is. I like that. It's easy. Not easy, but simple. Where are you from? I'm from America. Texas. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. Let's see. Let's see Jonathan do it. He's a pro. That's awesome how the table. Is this uh, homemade? Homemade. That's crazy. That's awesome. Bro, yes. you want to play? Um, okay, let's do uh, one game together. Oh, uh, what you can do? One game. Yeah, I want to okay, see yeah. how it's playing oh. with all the uh, with all the little chips. Uh, you want to fight? I want to fight. No uh, wanna fight. fight. No fight. No fight. No fight. No fight. Uh, I fight. That's cool. So the okay. all the pockets have little okay. little <laughs> drawers like this on them. Okay, bro. Yo, yo. Uh, can I uh, hold the camera? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about this one? Who, who's this? Uh, this is, uh... Hello. What's your, Hello. What's your name? Hello. <laughs> Young girl. Uh, okay, so let's see. This okay. is how you... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is the, uh, the beginning. You just do red, green, red, green. Um, you want a uh, green, you want your red. Okay. Okay. Wait. You want to shoot a red? I'm shooting for red. Yes. And he's on the he, green team. Oh, uh, also red. Also red. Okay. All right. Let's go. Break. Oh, uh, what? You you break? Where? From where? Anywhere. Over there. Anywhere. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go like this. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Just like that. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm red. Yes. All right. Okay. Now I'm red. Okay. Nice shot. Nice shot, dog. Ah, I'm gonna pick it. Hey! Hey! Like oh no! Oh, no! You, you lose! Jonathan, no! Hey! Hi, you lose. Thank you, thank you. All right. Almost had him. Almost had him. No, no mango steam. No mango steam. No mango steam. So I think yesterday I already bought mango and bananas. I have them both actually. Uh, maybe tonight. 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 Maybe later. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you guys. I guess I was really lucky actually to find those mango steams yesterday. Because no one else has them.
happy fiesta, so I guess. I don't know if they always uh, string these little pinnets and colorful little plastic baggies up, but I like it. It's pretty cool looking. Here. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you happy? speak English? No. Oh, Tagalog. man. Tagalog. So when I was uh, trying to figure out where to go, from Manila, I was looking at the map and I landed on Balanga and I was like, oh, what's, what's there? And there was this World War II mu museum and I was like, that seems pretty interesting. Let's look into it. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of history here. So this right here is the spot where the American general surrendered to, this, to the, uh, the Japanese Imperial Army. It says, at this exact location, the, uh, the Filipino and American troops in Batam were finally surrendered to the 14th Imperial Army of Japan on April 9th, 1942. And so the general was uh, General Edward King. And so he surrendered. And uh, I'm not sure if he was told to surrender, but he, like, he told the, his, his, uh, his soldiers, like, yeah, it's all on me. I'm telling you to, to surrender. What eventually transpired after that was known as the Batam, Batan Death March, where thousands of Filipino and American soldiers died. But yeah, I just uh, had to come check it out for myself, and so. So the Batam World War II M Museum. It's pretty nice. I mean, it is, it's tucked away behind this elementary school over here. I mean, it's covered, surrounded by beautiful trees and uh, beautiful vegetation and whatnot. The uh, museum itself, obviously it focuses on what happened here and not, you know, the, the entire war in general. But uh, yeah, just like any World War II museum, uh, war museum, you're gonna see a lot of pictures and a lot of a lot of reading a lot of text a lot of artifacts a lot of guns and machinery and uniforms and a lot of a lot of stuff that uh, it's kind of hard to make a video about but it's also it's pretty cool to see in person but uh yeah one thing it, it focuses heavily on is how uh peaceful for one the the period from like 1901 to 1946 was and also uh i'm sorry 1941 19, you know 1901 to 1941 and then how horrible and dreadful and terrible the three years under Japanese occupation was you know just like in the Dutch East Indies just like in Indonesia for that for the those three years it was considered horrible and terrible and just like everywhere else that Japan invaded you know and so yeah I'm sure uh, Japanese Japan colonization was pretty rough during the war. You know, I would say there's one example where Japanese colonization was not that bad. And you can talk to the, the citizens and the people that live in this country. That would be Taiwan. And so overall, if you talk to the older generations, you know, just like here in the Philippines from like the early 1900s until uh, up to World War II, is considered a very peaceful time and so yeah it's amazing how you know the narrative can can change obviously during World War II uh, the Japanese and did some pretty 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 horrible things there's unit 731 there's the uh, the whole thing with the comfort women there's a lot of a lot of effed up things that happen and it's unfortunate because well not unfortunate but they lost and allied powers won and so we get to write history and so there's no telling what kind of horrible things that we that we did and possibly covered up and so you know it's just one of those things you know if, if just imagine a world if if Hitler and the Japanese won what kind of story what kind of a museum would this be it, it'd tell a very different story of 
Japan liberating the Philippines from the West and how wonderful life is, you know, here in the Philippines under Japanese rule. And so it's always important to keep those things in mind, you know. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't really have much else to add there, so let's get on out of here. We good? Everything taken care of here? All right. One more thing. I don't know if I'll include this in the video or not, but I just want to go ahead and record it and just see what happens. I think it's important to understand the psyche of these guys over here, the Japanese Imperial Army, and uh, kind of what, you know, understand what led them to do these heinous acts and how could they possibly do these terrible things and what what convinces a young man to hop in a plane and commit suicide and fly their jet into a ship right like how does that happen well I think this is one of those times where uh, yeah you don't blame the the race the ethnicity like if you go to Japan today Japanese people are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet I lived there for 11 years you know, it's not the people, it is, this is an instance where religion has polluted the minds and, you know, it's, it's just indoctrination. It's, uh, it's, it's the worst side, the worst, yeah, the worst side of religion, in my opinion. And so, these, these people, these Japanese were, they were led to believe that they were a uh, superior race and they were taught this from a young age from from grade school they were taught to believe that japan is in, uh, superior that the emperor is a, uh, a direct descendant of the sun god and so when you're brainwashed from a young age like i'm not saying I'm, they're they're victims themselves but at the same time it's like they were led to believe that when they die, their soul and their spirit lives on at Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo. Yasukuni Shrine is, is and it's kind of was and is like the lifeblood of the uh, this whole movement in a way, like this whole idea that Japan is superior and that the emperor is the direct descendant of the sun god. And when you die, they believed that you live on forever as a god, as a literal god at Yasukuni. And so, uh, that's a whole story in itself, the uh, Yasukuni Shrine in Japan. It's still a very controversial uh, shrine. I mean, I've been to it, it's, it's pretty wild. There's a, there's a World War II memorial there that, uh, you know, tells their story in a way. And so, it's interesting, you know. Um, I think it's important to understand, like I said, the psyche of the Japanese soldier and what led them to do these uh, horrible things. And so, in my opinion, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's religion in the worst way. It's not very hard. It's, it's just a padded, padded little stick here. Ernie. Ernie. Uh, uh, this is uh, the Filipino national sport. Ernie's, I guess. Kind of reminds me of Kindo in a way in Japan. Well, I, uh, I wound up in a cemetery. <laughs> Saw a huge uh, patch of green grass on Google Maps and I thought, hey, that might be a park. No, it's a cemetery. And well, there's really no point to make a video here, but I, would, I will say that this is probably uh, the most unique cemetery that I've ever been to. I've never been to a cemetery like this, all right? So in the middle, you have this huge um, patch of green grass where you know a lot of bodies are buried, I'm sure. And on the outside though, you have a lot of these really beautiful I'm guessing these are graves too and so it almost looks like storefronts in a way and so but uh, I also can't help but uh, 
notice the uh, the contrast of how nice some of these graves look and uh, and how the house is out there on just outside on the other side of the street look and so yeah some of these people who are dead are living a lot nicer than the people outside that are living And that's as uh, far as the road will take me. Well, that's it. And uh, that would be the Bay of Manila, which you can see. You probably can't see it, but you can see the skyscrapers of Manila all the way over there. And so uh, basically yesterday, I drove from way down there all the way around. These boys over here are loading up some rocks in their shirts. Not sure what they're doing it for. Work or play? I don't know. So this is kind of what I was talking about earlier when I was uh, talking about how it's awesome to see all the jerseys here. Like this kid is wearing yeah. a Kyrie Irving jersey when he played for Brooklyn. Do you know Kyrie yeah. Irving? And so now he's playing for my, uh, my favorite team, the Mavs. But. You need some money? I'm sorry, man. I don't have no money. What's your name? My name's Nick. What's your name? Yeah. Hard. Huh? Hard. Hard? Hard. Your name is Hard? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Makio. Makio. Makio? Oh, nice to meet you. Matiu. Huh? Matiu. Matiu. Yeah, yeah. Matiu. All right. What are you guys doing over here with the rocks? I wish you you want a banana? I got a banana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. A banana? You want bananas? You clear me out. Right, everybody, you want a banana? No? What? You want here? Yeah. Here, Yeah, thank you. I'll have one too. Yeah. Do what? Do me cruz. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying, man. No. No. Mm. Good banana break. It's a camera. Camera? Mm. Yeah, camera man. Want a banana? Do you want a banana too? It's a banana break. Sorry. Only one. One, 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 one. If I do two, then I got to do two, 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 two. I can't do that. I don't have, a, I don't have uh, enough bananas. This guy want a banana? <laughs> All right, guys. See you. Peace. Peace. One more time. One more time. Nice. Well, that's uh, quite the operation, I'd say. So uh, I'm guessing after they get done fishing, they come down here. Looks like they splice them open and they dry them out. I'm guessing this is kind of what I saw at the fish market today. Maybe they, uh, after they get them drying them out, they take them to the market and uh, they sell them. Hello. Hello. I'm good. Can I take a look? Yeah. Dried fish? How many days have they been out here? Two days. So two days? And then you take them to the market? Is this a uh, family business? Family business. How many years? Almost, 
25 years. Hmm. Wow, look at all these. So these are all the stacks of uh, the trays or whatever. I don't know what you, what you call those. Hundreds of them. All righty, so I was kind of wondering where could I end this video? And uh, I was passing through this area right over here. I was kind of circling around this big building right here, and uh, I came. To this area right here and I was like yeah this looks like a perfect spot I had no idea this was here in Balanga but I mean these look like some pretty historic buildings to me and uh, they should be or it looks like they're setting up for a festival and so all the flags all the colors right now but it doesn't start till tomorrow <laughs> March 14th to the 19th. It's a five-day festival and I'm leaving. Why would you start the festival on a Sunday? Well, it's called Feast Feast of St. Joseph. I'm guessing it has to do with something with the church, maybe. Something with the, the Catholic Church. I mean, there's a big, beautiful church right there, too. So, the center of Belanga. It's pretty busy and happening place, I'd say. But I'm tired. I think we... Uh, We've done enough for today's video. I'm gonna call it a day, head back to my place, and chill out. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.